Welcome back to Talking Teslas. Before I begin, please like, comment, subscribe and turn your notifications on if you like the video. If you are in the market for a Tesla vehicle or a Tesla solar product please feel free to use my referral code located in the video description. Both you and I will get 1000 free supercharging miles. Thanks. Tesla just announced the newly refreshed Model S and Model X Long Range, Plaid, and Plaid Plus. In this video, we will discuss the Model S since the updates are very similar between the two vehicles. The redesign includes better aerodynamics, an all-new interior with a larger center screen, and a new steering wheel. The long-anticipated Plaid models add a third electric motor increasing 0 to 60 times from 3.1 seconds to an insane 1.99 seconds. This means the vehicle can do the quarter mile in just 9.23 seconds. Let's dig in a bit deeper and see what the new Model S and X refresh bring to the existing Tesla lineup. Let's start on the exterior. As with most new car releases, Tesla released some updated wheels that, according to Tesla, make the ride even smoother. The Plant Model S also just beat its predecessor with an even lower drag coefficient. It went from 0.240 to 0.208. Tesla is moving to a phone key along with the standard RFID key card for the new Model S. It's likely that the Plaid versions will still come with the original key fob. The Model S is now getting chrome deletes. Unlike the Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla is using what they are calling, quote, premium gloss black finish, around the windows and door handles. The battery pack also got some improvements. Tesla will be using their new updated battery modules and overall pack architecture in the new Model S, but it's not using the 4680 cells nor the structural battery pack announced at Battery Day last year. Tesla will still use the older 18650 cells in the Plaid Model S however, the 18650 cells have been updated to the latest chemistry. The changes are mainly focused on thermal performance. Tesla has developed new coolant channels to allow for cross-flow, making temperatures more consistent across each channel inside the battery pack. There are two main performance improvements that are enabled by the new thermal performance of the new battery pack. One being faster charging that is now on par with Model 3 and Model Y at 250 kilowatts, and repeatability of power out for consistent back-to-back quarter-mile runs or laps. The refreshed long-range model stays at a rated 412 miles of range while the range of the Plaid drops to 390. The Plaid Plus increases to 520 miles, a significant increase over all other models available from Tesla. Now, let's move inside the cabin. Tesla now uses a new force touch door opening button like the one seen in the Model Y and Model 3. There are still emergency release handles, but those should only be used if the force touch buttons malfunction. With the Model S refresh, Tesla has improved headroom and legroom by redesigning the first row and second row seats. The front row seats are now farther forward and the back seats have a more reclined angle seating position. Tesla brought the updated front center console with inductive chargers. The rear seats now have cup holders and embedded inductive phone chargers. The Model S now comes with three screens. The main touchscreen center display is now horizontal, but it's still the same 17 inches. It can also now tilt left and right. The new second row screen is also a touchscreen, but not much is known about what it will be used for quite yet. Cargo capacity remains similar even though Tesla slightly changed the front trunk, in Model S to accommodate the new powertrain but it apparently doesn't affect the storage space in any significant way. The rear trunk was modified as well, but the overall storage space is roughly the same. The climate control system had a major redesign. The new Model S is equipped with Tesla's next-generation airwave climate control built on the climate control system first introduced in Model 3. Tesla has improved the design and now uses the screen and other glass surfaces in the car to direct airflow and create the impression that the air is blowing out of the screens. The vents are also even better hidden than in Model 3 and Model Y, resulting in a very simple interior. I'm sure Tesla will throw in a few secret hidden features, not talked about in this video once production begins. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think about the new Tesla Model S and Model X Plaid and Plaid Plus. Please like, comment, subscribe and turn your notifications on if you like the video. If you are in the market for a Tesla vehicle or a Tesla solar product please feel free to use my referral code located in the video description. Both you and I will get 1000 free supercharging miles. Thanks for watching. Until next time this is Talking Teslas.